Hi, I'm Dan Buttrey here at the War Memorial Center in Milwaukee. Uh, this year we're celebrating the 75th commemoration of the end of World War II. The very reason why we built the War Memorial was to remember all those who were killed in action during the Second World War. And because of that significance, we wanted to make sure that we highlighted what the greater Milwaukee did, area of Milwaukee did during the World War II and of course ever since. So we curated this exhibit called On the Home Front. It's focused on local area manufacturers, many of whom you will you will recognize and this is only going to be open for a few more weeks to the end of 2020 uh, you are able to come down this is one of the few things you can actually take in still in Milwaukee uh, masks we are required I'm not wearing mine because the videographer is far enough away but we will require that we also ask if you would like to show up on a weekend you let us know in advance and contact us at info at war memorial center.com so I'd love to take you through this exhibit and give you a quick uh, visual video uh, introduction to the exhibit. So come on in, let's do this. Our motor pool here at the On the Homefront exhibit was set up. Uh, keep out is not for you, it is for those to cl for climbing on these World War II Harley Davidsons. Uh, they're on loan, one from the Harley Davidson Museum, uh, and then also a private party, Tom. Uh, Terry Sikora and both of these saw do service during World War II and they are here to see uh, on, a, on the very first station when you come in to the exhibit uh, through the entrance uh, then over here it'll bring you directly to uh, Mercury Marine at the time they were known as Kaikaifer Corporation up in Cedarburg and yes this is a drone uh, a World War II drone uh, this is on loan from the Mercury uh, Museum in Fond du Lac and this is an image of what this engine went into for this. Our pillars, which are inside the exhibit, also are highlighting, and you'll find panels with information. So, for example, this photo of these Navy, uh, of these sailors, was taken right here at the very, very location where we're at on June 16, 1944, and it's highlighting the E Award, which we'll talk about as well in this exhibit, which is an excellent award for manufacturing. And yes, Harley-Davidson, not only is it just an excellent uh, company, they received the very coveted Excellence Award during World War II. Desco Diving, uh, still in existence today. Uh, they are located in the Third Ward, and as you can see, this Mark V, which is the same technology that was used during World War II, and you can see some of the manufacturing, spying from the depths, was right here. Our posters, which line the wall, go from 1942 to 1945. These are World War II posters and they tell the story of on the home front, uh, what everybody was being asked to do back home to help support the war effort. And you can even see the keys to victory in the po first poster and what they were encouraging everybody to do on the home front because you didn't have to necessarily just wear the uniform to support the war effort. You were supporting the war effort in all your actions back on the home front. The case that we have located inside. Uh, for example, this is focused on Cyrus Erie and the work that they had done. We do have marquee panels describing much of the work that was being done. Uh, a lot of big equipment was coming out of southeastern Wisconsin. And in fact, you'll even see on the panels here imagery of the equipment in use. So the Desco equipment uh, from New York Harbor when the USS Lafayette was sunk in the New York Harbor. And you can see the very equipment that's on display and then the shipbuilding techniques that were being developed from our very own A.O. Smith, which is right here in Milwaukee. Still today, they make mostly uh, water heaters, as most folks know. The E Award, which I described earlier, only 4% of all manufacturers received that award. And here is a list of just those, com those companies that were right here in southeastern Wisconsin. If we'd included all of Wisconsin, it would have been four pages of this. And as we go into the holiday season, everybody knows Nesco, which is a company where you can keep your turkey warm. At the time, they were, they were known as National Enameling and Stamping Company. They were actually supporting the war effort with uh, shell casings and etc. In the cases here are the actual programs when they would receive that excellence award and then images of the employees the women in manufacturing even you can see that this this is an original magazine ad that the Evan Rood was using and they highlighted the fact that they were a recipient of the excellence award Briggs and Stratton uh, many of us know it for 
lawn mowing. Well, here you have an air compressor that was used, uh, engine compartment elements for our uh, aviation, and yes, even bomb fuses that were being manufactured that we have on display. So you can take that information in and see firsthand the materials that they were working on, and again, with, the, with our panels, how we explain it. Women in manufacturing and minorities in manufacturing, a key part. So many of the men were going and putting the uniform on and deploying, so we very much relied heavily on a strong women and minority uh, workforce group, and we talk about that. In fact, this is the supercharger, which was put on all the aviation engines to get the planes to go above 30,000 feet, which saved countless lives of air crews, and they were manufactured right here in Wisconsin at the West Alice, Alice Chalmers-based company. In our case here, we talk about women in manufacturing and the work effort that they applied. Today, MATC, but at the time it was the Milwaukee Vocational School, and this is one of the original programs where you could come in and enroll to learn to, to weld. These are all specific uh, training uh, classes that they had in place to train the women to do the work. The creature comforts, everything that touches the troops uh, when on a daily basis, food, water, clothing, and in fact, the P-38, which is a can opener, improved and designed right here in southeastern Wisconsin uh, by the company. So you had the, the can openers placed on an original World War II dog tags uh, on loan from uh, Tom Faring, who's participated in the exhibit. Of course, eating, the heat tabs, as you can see, all this was being produced here. And in this photo, we have an image of then President FDR here visiting Alice Chalmers during the Second World War. Our very last case, we focus on the sacrifice. This is on the home front. These are artifacts from families, from loved ones who had a soldier, a sailor, a marine, a pilot killed in action. And these are the compelling stories that we tell of all of these uh, representing those from Milwaukee. So if you can make it down here in the next few weeks before we, we wrap up here in uh, the end of 2020, I really want to put an emphasis on the last case. This is about the ultimate sacrifice. Everybody, every story in this case talks about someone whose life was lost during the Second World War. The Fox family, Doc Fox is in a particular case, I had the honor of meeting the family. And in fact, he was killed on the USS Franklin on March 19th, 1945, when the uh, kamikaze had hit. And he was the surgeon on that carrier. Um, in here, you'll see a photo of of the, the doctor and his two boys, and today his two boys are in their late 70s, early 80s, and so that's the impact, uh, and just such a sense of pride of service of their father. Um, so really, I'd love to make sure that you take this in and all the different stories and learn more about these individuals as you come down. And we do have an accompanying book that you can get on Amazon called When Milwaukee Went to War, which is a, uh, a detailed, it's not heavily engineering, uh, so the common person can read it and really find interest in it. And it gives even greater background and detail to the exhibit that we have here. So please, take your time to, uh, to accept, uh, to learn a little bit more about the uh, the exhibit and the incredible input that everybody had from Milwaukee area during the war effort and let's always remember their service and their sacrifice. Thank you. Mm -hmm.